Well, the first thing I think that we're trying to find out is, are there people who live in this community who are affected by chromium contaminated groundwater infiltrating their homes? The second pro thing I think that we're trying to get out of this investigation is, is there chromium in the groundwater? And if so, where is it going? And we want to resolve that issue as well. We want to get the chromium out of the groundwater. I read in the paper where they're saying that there might be barriers that was dangerous to persons' health. We'd like to know why it took over 20 years for this to become an issue. It stopped at one place, stopped, and went to another place, stopped, and it didn't affect anything. How did it, how did it jump around to two places? One department says it wasn't them, it was somebody else. The other person says it was them. So who knows? How did you figure it got there if it didn't have to travel and affect the people in between? We're going to be out this weekend uh, going door to door to folks in this the area that we've identified, um, talking to them about the survey, asking them, do they have wet basements? Do they have sumps? Do they feel that their property may be it may have uh, some kind of water infiltration problem that, that they would like us to to investigate? I'm a breast people cancer survivor. My daughter had to have her breast removed, and my other daughter's contemplating it. So uh, we're concerned.